I'm here to talk about uh, a, a few things. First, to start with, uh, is the agenda for for my excuse okay, me. If you have to talk, please talk outside. Okay, don't, don't disturb the speaker. Uh, my agenda for uh, next few minutes is as follows. So I'll briefly introduce solar, solar photovoltaic technology as such and what applications we are using it for. Uh, and then I'll give a brief background on Sun Edison and I'll get into uh, the, the topic of relevance uh, for about 50% of my uh, talk. Uh, I'll discuss benefits of solar, some customer feedback and some guidance and uh, things to do with policy that we think are appropriate. And wherever possible, I'll refer to some of the comments uh, that earlier speakers made. So essentially, the photovoltaic effect, uh, the photo, uh, photo, solar photovoltaic, the word photovoltaic means that you convert photons to volts. So, uh, and the effect was invented by uh, Albert Einstein in 1905. Uh, and yet, uh, 100 years after that, we are uh, in the process of uh, commercializing the whole technology. Uh, so, uh, solar panels that receive sunlight uh, convert uh, uh, convert sunlight to electricity, and uh, you can do different things with it. You can do take DC power or AC power uh, and do run appliances or feed it into the grid, etc. Uh, so, various types of applications are there: utility, commercial rooftop, uh, village electrification. That I'll show you an example, an interesting business model as well that can apply to solar pumps. Uh, canal rooftop, one in, uh, in Gujarat itself, which has had a lot of secondary uh, spillover effects, and finally uh, solar pump in agriculture. So I'll be brief on the first uh, uh, four topics. Uh, utility scale power plants. These are uh, uh, power plants in large solar parks that uh, that are that feed uh, like uh, five megawatts. No. Uh, to 25 megawatts in India that feed uh, large amounts of power directly into the into the grid and paid for by uh, the state utilities under a long-term 25-year power purchase agreements. Uh, currently in India, we have touched about one gigawatt of total installed capacity recently. Uh, we uh, in many other countries, right? The where the market started uh, is actually on rooftops. If you take the U.S. or even Germany, uh, there is uh, uh, the uh, uh, Price of power is, is is dependent on the daytime. So putting it on the rooftop and feeding power into the into the grid enabled consumers to cut their electricity costs. So uh, this is just starting up in Gandhinagar. In fact, uh, is, the, is the first uh, city to launch a, a rooftop program for five megawatts, and we are doing uh, uh, fifty percent of that uh, in, in the state. Uh, it also allows, and this is where the the whole uh, market in India is also moving towards. Uh, you know, as utility prices have come down. Uh, third uh, example that I want to show is, uh, is, uh, is a project that we have done in, in a village in, uh, in Madhya Pradesh. We have electrified uh, a, a village that has about 200 uh, households. Uh, this village has never seen electricity before. And here we are feeding, uh, we have a central plant and uh, we are feeding electricity to, to these people and they would pay by the meter. So we have had gone through some collection issues and we have, I can talk about later on how we were able to uh, address that. So it goes towards uh, 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 an energy sale type of model that can apply for uh, pumps as well. Uh, so this is a, a very novel project that we have done in Gujarat. We have put solar power plants and it made a one megawatt power plant over a kilometer of the Narmada Canal, uh, which not only like a utility power plant feeds power to the grid, but in addition, say, in a prevent, reduces evaporation of water and controls uh, growth of uh, reduces growth of algae uh, in the water as well by preventing direct sunlight. So this uh, this is a, a unique uh, 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 solar plant that uh, that has been built on the Narmada Canal. And finally, uh, uh, the application of course agriculture pumps that uh, I'll talk about in more detail. So before I go into that, just a brief introduction to the company. Uh, so we, uh, Sun Edison, we have been around in, uh, in India since January 2010, a uh, global company though. Uh, we have been recently awarded the best solar power producer uh, in India by Independent Power Producers Association uh, with about 55 megawatts of solar power plants across, uh, utility, utility power plants mostly, uh, across uh, India. Uh, and we are in the business of developing the project, financing the project, constructing and operating the power plants. And we have come up with uh, uh, an efficient solar system solution for AC pumps. Uh, we have a, a strong R&D team, and uh, we, uh, we are looking at uh, AC-based technology as currently uh, to, uh, to deploy in the market. 
so just getting uh, the, the, the next subject more onto the uh, core topic for the day. So this is something that uh, a lot of you will be familiar with uh, from uh, Dr. Shah's paper. Uh, so obviously uh, there are uh, over uh, 15 million pumps uh, running in India, uh, and many of them are AC pumps. And this map actually shows the uh, distribution across India, the uh, fraction of electric pumps and the fraction of diesel pumps. And as many people rightly pointed out, the majority of the diesel pumps, right, uh, the red areas are in eastern UP, uh, Bihar, and West West Bengal. Uh, and there are issues with, uh, with with all of them. Whenever in the case of electricity pumps, most cases electricity is free and it's therefore not available. So that's that's not good, right? So in the case of diesel pumps, high opex costs for irrigation, many uh, regular cash spend. So that that those are things. Working capital constraints are issues there. And then occasionally there are diesel genset driven pumps, submersible pumps, in contrast to diesel surface pumps that are even more expensive and less efficient to the farmers, and they just use it just to get by. Uh, so uh, there are so while the, so in all cases there are different types of issues that sort of constrain overall productivity and farm income. Uh, this is a, this graph showed up in other other presentations. I won't talk about it. Recent spike in. Uh, uh, diesel 10% uh, that came up in September 2012. Uh, so this is a new data point I want to share. In Tamil Nadu, for example, in the case of you know, people with awaiting grid connections, right? Tamil Nadu TNEV reports that there are about half a million pump customers awaiting free grid connections, uh, and they never get it because the electricity board uh, provides only 30,000 per uh, per uh, annum. So they they won't be getting the connection, and so what is done is demand side management and it is. Uh, uh, regulate the amount uh, hours of power. Uh, so this also, as as, we, as I'll show you, uh, we have found that in many places of Tamil Nadu, basically constraints uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the irrigation that will be done. Here's an example. So here's here's a field in Tamil Nadu where five acre land I believe, but the paddy is grown in only one portion because of power constraint. Uh, water is there, but power is not there. So the free electricity is not there, so they don't they don't do. Uh, so here's an example in, uh, in 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 another place where diesel gen set is being generator set is being used to power a submersible pump. Not that all land is indicated because it's high opex. They just do it to uh, get by, and uh, uh, and of course in many uh, uh, <coughs> so at, so essentially the result of expensive power and poor electricity is as follows. Uh, like I already said, not all, all land is irrigated. Choice of crop is suboptimal. Uh, water covenant crops that are that may not be of the highest value. Number of floodings is reduced to crops per year. So net net uh, basically farm income is not uh, this way. So that's the same story we've already heard. Uh, so the benefits of solar power water pumps is I think basically uh, essentially a reliable power of uh, 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 supply of power uh, eight to nine hours per day as we already saw. Uh, uh, no water shortage, uh, uh, optimal number of floodings, more land can be irrigated. Importantly data irrigation more control of water. I'll give you a specific example from Tamil Nadu where, uh, where that is happening back. Optimal op control of water implies that optimal choice of crop, higher value crop is possible. Uh, low opex, uh, so summer crop. The good, good thing about solar is that uh, the sun shines more and it's hotter and produce more electricity. Water table is a little lower. Uh, you have more power coming from there is more sun. So there's a natural manage there. And when there's rain, you don't need that much power, that much water. Right? So there's, there's some manage there. So. Uh, so third crop, I think we think uh, is, is possible uh, for in, uh, areas like Bihar, right? Um, and of course, we banks will be willing to uh, give uh, loans that can be tied to the cropping, uh, cropping uh, cycle itself. So here's an interesting picture. Uh, there are two fields. One is irrigated by by diesel. One is irrigated by uh, solar at different water rates. Uh, actually, you see that uh, uh, one has uh, gets more flooding, the uh, harvest is earlier, cropping intensity is higher, etc. So that's uh, uh, that's uh, that's uh, an illustration that I have to show. So while diesel diesel costs are increasing, I want to show a slide on how solar costs have been coming down. So this is uh, just looking at the time and five minutes. Uh, this is the top graph here shows the uh, price of polysilicon. The, fun, the key raw material for solar that has, uh, as you see by the bars, has crashed from about uh, close to $80 per kilogram in 2008 to all the way to about $35 to $40 uh, uh, dollars per kilogram. 
So the prices of, uh, of solar uh, modules, panels, have dropped uh, in a dramatic fashion over the, uh, over the last uh, three, four years. And that's why we are seeing that we, we are, this discussion here makes, makes a lot, of, lot more sense. And this, ex, this trend is expected to continue and stabilize uh, in, over the next few years. So I think that we think that as a result of that, right, so if you look at uh, the installations across the world, uh, this graph pictorial illustrates just a very exponential expansion of uh, number of uh, megawatts of installations. Uh, in fact, gigawatts of installations. Currently, the, the, I think the world we are installing about 30 gigawatts per annum. And that's the rate at which it's going uh, across different technologies, of course. Uh, uh, and what, what that means is that this price in reduction due to a number of macroeconomic factors, etc., uh, 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 has basically brought the levelized cost of PV power uh, below the cost of power from other sources, particularly diesel power, if, you know, with comparable utilization, will cost about 30 rupees per kilowatt hour. Uh, solar power costs, power costs already uh, uh, down to below that. And if you look at recent uh, recent bids in the uh, national and state programs, we are talking seven rupees per kilowatt hour. The power purchase agreement that uh, a company will bid for uh, for solar putting a solar power plant seven eight in that range. And if you if you if you think about what you and me pay for residential, right? That's like six rupees or five rupees, depending on where you live. Right? So it's getting there, right there. So uh, as an example, so one question I would leave is, you know, how does the levelized cost of water from solar compared to the levelized cost of water instead of power. So in the, in the solar power world, we talk about levelized cost of energy of from solar and compared to that of energy from other sources. Then you can ask the question that like Dinesh Kumar has reported, for example, levelized cost of power, diesel power in his articles. Uh, how does that compare between, uh, say, diesel usage versus solar power usage, right? Uh, that's a relevant question that uh, we should discuss. Um, specifically for solar pumps, uh, bid price in Rajasthan you know, decreased uh, by 20% uh, year on year due to, the, due to the overall decrease in price of solar. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, the essentially solar pumps is basically is increasingly becoming more viable for a source for agriculture power. And of course, sustainable as well, right? Uh, as opposed to increasing uh, price of diesel pumps. So summary is that while yeah, so that's just wanted to give some lot of more background information that uh, that is uh, probably uh, more relevant and that other speakers have not uh, spoken about. So I spent a little more time on that one. So specific customer feedback from our installations. Uh, this is uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, we, we have installed a 10 hours power system, which is for a very very large farmer. Uh, so for feedback, you get a solar solution. The water performance is identical to the grid. It works with the drip irrigation system. Uh, it's easy to operate. It's been working well, so he, he is quite happy. So he, uh, uh, so and he also the customer also went through this learning curve. You know, they would see that. Uh, uh, let me watch it. Thank you. Let me just move on. Um, he is another customer. Uh, five parts power system. Uh, he's able to meet his uh, water requirement with solar. He used to get only three hours of electricity. Uh, that was not sufficient to irrigate six acres of land. Uh, so what this in this example he had control of water. He would take water from a bore well and put it in an open well. And because the you know he has the water in the daytime, right? Eight hours of operation, he was able to identify a more value-added crop like a high grade of water-intensive uh, banana that he can sell at a higher price. So clearly the uh, uh, the crop choice clearly is affected. Definitely uh, 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 apply to other regions as well. Uh, so so that's. Who is taking from the he is pumping and storing it where he will actually use it for the board. Yeah, using the electricity, right. And he actually wants to use run that off of also off of solar. So is that so? Yeah, there's another thing because if you have a shallow open well, you can run a, use a smaller pump and run your drip and get that pressure. So there's other thing as well. I think this discussion will bring it during discussion time. Right? So I'm intentionally putting like seats for questions, I think. So uh, but in terms of policy, I just want to go over certain things. At the uh, Ministry of Human uh, Energy, Renewable Energy level, uh, I think we need a policy that promotes uh, uh, lower lifetime cost of ownership. Panels come with 25 year warranty, and uh, it, you need to watch out for that. So ease of service of pump is critical and, and the whole system, and that has to match. You know, former, for example, if you take the Rajasthan tender for pumps, the company is required to give service for guarantee for only five years. After that, if the thing goes down, the farmer has to pay out of his pocket. I don't know how that will look. That's not right. So, so enable multi-purpose farmers use everything for different things. 
certification process is needed. Uh, subsidy mechanism dispersal. We spoke about subsidy is there; it will increase. But uh, uh, I am sure we will take up discussion. Getting the subsidies. Next, uh, next session is on that. So right. So we'll talk about that. Um, and at the state level, we already spoke on uh, uh, Karthik spoke about the first point. Uh, the state governments talk about module manufacturing as a requirement. You have to be a module manufacturer to put solar pumps. No, it's not. That's not critical. Uh, yeah, critical in what is uh, a qualifying criteria, we think. Uh, uh, and then there are, we also suggest that they can. Uh, so, right. So this is my last slide. I'll stop right there. Uh, thanks for your attention. I hope uh, I brought Thank you some very much. Perspective.